a salesperson receives two twenty dollars per week plus ten dollars for every item sold complete the following table now this is a salesman he is selling something and uh, he gets a weekly wage of two hundred and twenty dollars plus ten dollars for every item sold so we want to finish this table now say he didn't sell any item for the whole week so he will get this 220 plus nothing extra so when he is not selling any item he will get this 220 which is not based on his sales okay so he starts with 220 he's sold one so he'll get 220 plus ten dollar for each so he will get two thirty dollars if he sells two he'll get two twenty plus uh, two times ten okay two times ten which is twenty so this is two forty for three items he will get uh, three times ten he'll get thirty dollars for three items so two twenty plus thirty which is 250 I hope you can see the pattern here so for every item he's selling he is getting ten dollars more can you see this is increasing by ten dollars this is also increasing by ten when this is increasing by one okay I want you to think about it and this is again increasing by one this is increasing by one this is increasing by ten if this is increasing by one this is increasing by ten okay so for four items again he will get 220 this is not going to change plus 4 times 10 which is 220 plus 40 which is 260 I hope you can see the pattern here so this is also increasing by 10 now so this is also increasing by 1 now this is increasing by 4 now I want you to do can you write this without doing this calculation if this is increasing by 1 this is increasing by 10 so if this is increasing by 4 this will increase by 40 I hope you can see the logic so this will be 300 so let us confirm whether this answer is right so this is 220 plus he has sold 8 items so this is 8 times 10 this is 80 so 220 plus 80 is now this is increasing by 2 this is increasing by 2 so this will increase by 20 for each increase there's an increase of $10 that's what it means so let's confirm that that is 220 plus 10 times 10 this is 100 so this is 320 it does make sense and finally uh, I have I need to bring this down oh yeah okay I think this is good okay so this is this is increasing by again 10 okay so this is increasing by 10 so this is increasing by this would increase by 100 so this should be 420 so let us confirm that this is 220 plus 20 times 10 and 20 times 10 is 200 so 220 plus 200 is 420 and finally this is increasing by 30 so this would increase by 300 so the final is say 720 so let's confirm that 220 plus 50 times 10 and 50 times 10 is 500 500 plus 220 is 720 so now the next question is write a rule that gives the total weekly wage W if uh, they sold or he sold I should write he sold in sales a week okay okay or they sold it's uh, not the salesman the total suppose of the company so let's keep they so can you see what's happening here there's a relation between weekly wage say this is in W so this is your W and this is your N we want to relate this between uh, W and N what's the relation between W and N so I can say well W is increasing by 10 for a unit increase okay you started with 220 so I hope let me use a different color so I would say well W is always 220 
plus something n which is the number of items sold times 10 so this is the simple rule so if you want to write uh, this in a different way this is 220 plus n times 10 is written as 10 n so this is the rule between wage weekly wage and the number of sales that were made I draw the graph of W versus N. Okay, so this is the how uh, we know, and uh, N is between. This is a notation which is you read like this N is between 0 and 50, where 0 and 50 are inclusive. This is N, this is how you read 0 is less than or equal to N, is less than or equal to 50. So, in simple language, it means N is between. This means n is between n is between 0 and 50. 0 and 50, both inclusive. Both inclusive. So this is how you would say in English, but uh, in maths you would write it like this. So we know the values of n between 0 to 50, and we're going to plot this on this graph. So on this x-axis, we're taking n, n for number of items sold. So number of items sold. And on uh, y-axis, we are taking, let me erase this. For On the y-axis, we are taking the weekly wage. Okay, so let me write. On the y-axis, we are taking the weekly wage, which is in W. Okay. So let's plot the point. So when it is zero items, it is 220. So 220, say, is yeah. So I have drawn an axis from 0 to 50, going up at a step of 2. And this is from 0 to 720, going up at a step of 20. So this is 20, 40, and so on. So when there's zero sales, it is 220. So this is 200, this is 240, so this is 220. So we'll not plot all the points, so we'll plot some of the points. Suppose let us take for one, it is 230. Okay, uh, you can't plot one, so let us go to for four. When it is four, it is 260. When it is four, it is 260. So can we plot 260? So this is four, this is 220, 240, and 260. I think that's the point. Yeah. This is 4, 260. So let us go to 10. Okay. When it is 10, it is 320. You don't need to plot all the points. When it is 10, this is 8, and this is 10. This is 320. I hopefully I'm doing it right. So this is, oops. This is 8. This is 10. Okay, so I'm going up. I want to find 320. So this is this point. Okay, and finally, when it is 50, it is 720. Okay, so this is 50 and this is 720 right at the top. And I want to draw a straight line. So this would be a straight line. So I'll, if you join these points, if you plot the points correctly, there will be a it will be on a straight line. So this this line has got an equation, so let me use a different color, W is equal to, W is your Y value, so W is related with N, is 220, so always good to write the equation of the line on top of the line, plus 10N, so that's the equation of the line. So, that we have drawn, now let's answer the question. Uh, there are two questions. Find the wage if 37 sales were made in a week. So 37. So let us first read from the graph and then we'll do it mathematically. So 37. So this is this is 36. This is 38. So 37 comes somewhere here. So this is the, what they're talking about. So this from the graph. Let me use a different color. Uh, 37. So this is 36. This is 38, this is 37. So if you go up, if you find the point, this is this point. And this point, so let me use 
is line 2. So this line corresponds to what? Let's read from the graph first, confirm from the graph. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So this is 37. This is 37. And so let me write, from, let us read from the graph. So this point, this point is 37 comma what? So this is uh, 560, 580, and 590. From my graph, I can see it is $590. Let's confirm that. So W would be 220 plus 37 times 10. So we don't need a calculator for this. This is 220 plus 370 which is 590, so that, that we exact there. So from the graph, you can see very clearly that when 37 sales were made, it is 590, okay. And finally, how many items need to be sold if the wage is to be $490? So let's read from the graph first. So 490, where would you find 490? This is, this is 480. This is 500, so this is a 490. Okay, so again, let me use the line tool. So this is 490, so let me join it with the line. This is 490. Oops, yeah. And let me drop it to the x axis. So from here, if I drop it from the x axis, I can say it is this is 24. This is 20. This is 24, 26, 28. This is goes is going up into 24, 26. So this is 27. Seems to be 27. So at this point, this point on the graph is 27 comma 490. 27 comma 490. So let's check on the using the equation. So we have got we got the equation. 220, so let me write the equation like this. We got the equation 220 plus 10n is equal to w. And we've got w is equal to 490. We want to find n. That's your question. So, well, to find n, so let me write the equation like this. So, 220 plus 10n is equal to 490. So the first thing that we need to do is you go 490, take away 220. Okay, I'm taking away 220 from both sides, which is how much? 270. Okay, and then you divide 270 by 10. 270 divided by 10 is 27. So we confirmed what we got was right from the graph. So how many items need to be sold? 27 items need to be sold to get a wage of $490.